Webflow pricing and Webflow cost and Webflow plans and pricing plans, all that type of stuff today. I want to make a video going over what pricing plans are available and how much does, you know it costs to use Webflow. So if you want to check out the latest pricing plans, feel free to go through the link down below in the video description or in the pinned comment section down below for your convenience so you can see the best Webflow pricing plans and the you know the offers that they currently have available so you can save the most amount of money whenever you're watching this video. So again, it's going to be through the links down below provided for your convenience down, be down below this video. So um, with that being said, let's begin today's video. So when you go through the link down below, you'll come to a page that looks something like this. It may change over time, but this is what it looks like at the time of recording today's video. Then you just want to go over here and click on pricing and then I'll go over you know, some of the Webflow pricing and the difference between some of these plans right here. So let's begin. So there's two general like categories. There's, you know, general. So, you know, in terms of like their site plans. So our site plans provide easy one click publishing and hosting right from inside our powerful visual designer. And then there's going to be e-commerce right here, which is, you know, purchase an e-commerce site plan to unlock features designed especially for online retailers. So it's going to really depend on what you're going to be using the site for, you know, in terms of like, you know, purchasing uh, Webflow, you know, your, you know, your service. Um, so that's going to be the first thing you want to go ahead and decide. So there's, you know, obviously like, you know, site plans for like general usage and then site plans for e-commerce usage if you're like, you know, an online retailer for an example. So let's just go over the pricing plans right off the bat. So there's the free plan, which is a great way to get started. So you can like test out the platform without like committing to it in terms of like, you know, paying straight away. There's the basic plan, which is going to be $18 a month. There's the CMS plan, which is $29 a month. There's the business plan, which is $49 a month. And then there's obviously the enterprise plan, which you need to contact sales. Um, I'm, I guess, I'm guess just to like get like a quote or like a price or some, something like that, just to get more information to see if it's going to be right for you. And then if we go over here to e-commerce, there's three main plans. So there's the standard plan, which is going to be $42 a month, you know, build monthly. There's the plus plan right here, which is going to be $84 a month. And then there's the advanced plan right here, which is going to be $235 a month. Um, now, a cool little trick as well, if you want to save like a bunch of money right off the bat, is you can actually go ahead and click on save up, you know, so basically click on yearly and you can save up to 22%, which is pretty cool. So, you know, instead of like $18 a month, you know, you pay $14 a month if it's billed yearly. Instead of $29, it's $23. And then instead of like $49, it's $30, $39. And then if you go over here to e-commerce, the same thing applies. So $29.74 and $212 a month. But if we go over here and click on, you know, paying yearly, you can save up to 30% off. In this case, you know, you can get it for $29 a month, $74 a month, and $212 a month. Of course, this is billed yearly, so that's the only like con or like the only thing that's bad about it, but you do save a lot of money. And you know, if you're gonna be using Webflow anyway, it's a great way to save like a bunch of money immediately anyway. So that's what I strongly recommend if you are gonna be using Webflow long term. So that's that. So in terms of like the actual plans themselves, there's some things you can get. So with the free plan, you know, I probably recommend going the paid plan because you can you probably need a custom domain to have your website looking somewhat reputable and professional. Um, it's always good to have like your own custom domain so it can be like your name.com for example, your business name.com instead of like having like a webflow.io domain. It doesn't look that nice. It doesn't look, it, it, not just with like webflow, but like just in general, you know, you want to have like your own domain and have that control. Um, obviously the pages, you know, are quite limited with the free plan, with the paid plans, you can can get 150 to 300 pages and then like we've you know um so these pay plans there's a lot more f features and things you actually get so just a lot more customization and flexibility and freedom that you get with the paid plans in terms of like the free plan obviously the business plan you know excluding like the enterprise plan is going to be like probably um give you like the most value in terms of like you know if um less limitations and like more bandwidth and you know things of that nature and just you know more features and then obviously like the enterprise plan is going to be like probably more for people that are like big businesses probably imagine and then e-commerce you know there's no free plan for e-commerce but like there's three main core plans which is going to be standard plus and advanced so 
Um, the difference between these plans is that like the, is the amount of like e-commerce items you can like have. So it includes all e-commerce products, variants, and categories independent of CMS items. So five hundred for the standard plan, five thousand for the plus plan, and um fifteen thousand for the advanced plan, and then CMS items the same concept really. Ten thousand for both plus and advanced, and two thousand for for standard. Um, transaction fee is two two percent transaction fee. So in addition to Stripe or PayPal processing fees, this is what like Webflow, you know, is saying right here: two percent transaction fee. Does that does, so? If you're getting if you're generating like a lot of sales, you know, you probably wouldn't want to be on the standard plan because you just basically have like a two percent transaction fee, which is going to like add up. So in that case, we'd probably recommend going with like the um, plus or advanced plans so you get 0% transaction fee and of course you have to like you know pay normal fees like you know Stripe and PayPal processing fees that's just like you know how it is and then of course you get all CMS plan features you know with the standard plan and then you get all business plan features with both the plus and advanced plan so that in a nutshell are the plans you can view all the plans right here you know in a little bit more detail like like for example, like the design and things you can do, paid user accounts, you know, all that type of stuff. Like payments, obviously, we went over that. Like Stripe powered payments. So obviously, for all three plans coming like Stripe powered payments, PayPal support, Apple Pay, and Web payments, automatic tax collection, collection calculation. Sorry, unlimited sales volume. Then it's like you know, same with like marketing. So it just gives you like a whole, it gives you like a far up, um. Um, list of like the features that like all the plans like have but obviously like the summary right here is like mainly to kind of like be like the difference between the three plans and the same thing is going to be like you know for these plans right here on screen so again if you want to see the full list because i don't want this video being way too long for you just feel free to go through the link down below so you can see you know not only the pricing plans but all the you know features that our webflow has with each individual plan they have like quite a quite a comprehensive list of different things that they have right here on screen as you can see but I don't want this video being like a super long video. I just want to give you a brief overview and um, give you just, you know, show you like where to go to get more information, but just go over like the pricing plan so you can make an informed decision to see if Webflow is going to be right for you and your business. There's obviously an optional add-on, so localization, that's going to be up to you. Um, and there's a um, FAQ section, so yeah, um, that's basically the webflow cost and the webflow pricing so if you have any questions comment feel free to comment down below and subscribe for more e-commerce related videos and you know internet marketing videos in general um and also feel free if you find value to today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it does support the channel so we can make more free videos like these for you and of course if you want to check out the webflow pricing and all that type of stuff just feel free to go through the link down below in the video description so you can get all the you know see all the latest pricing plans and of course you know if there are any deals you know you can just go through the link down below to see all the latest deals if that webflow may offer in the future and or even now when you're watching this video depending when you are watching this video um and yeah you can check out the pricing plans and if you want to save some money you can pay annually pay annually as well or just yeah pay yearly and um yeah so thanks again for watching today's Webflow cost and Webflow pricing plans video tutorial.